Hi guys, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to be doing a Hawaiian makeup tutorial. This was requested from one of my uh, lovely subscribers. So um, obviously I had to get this up and she is actually going to be wearing this for an event shortly. So I wanted to get this up like too sweet. So um, I hope you like it. And if you uh, have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, basically, it's just a very easy, kind of bronzy, very creamy uh, look. Some kind of tropical shades underneath the lash line here. And then a warm nude, but with like a, like almost like a sunset-y lip gloss on. So it's just a nice kind of way to reinterpret like the Hawaiian look on like fair, or like lighter skin. Um, when you can't have that just like beautiful very tan skin like I there's no way in hell I'll ever have that so this is my answer to it so anyway I hope you like it and if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comments below and I'll do my very best to respond to you in a timely so manner. Firstly I'm just going to apologize for the light um just because it's dark out and I didn't have a chance and it's been foggy all morning so I haven't had an opportunity to film with natural light on this but I need to get this up for somebody because um this is a requested video and I have a deadline on it so I'm just really sorry for the lighting but I'm gonna do the best I can. So first things first, you should prime your face. I'm sure you already know that. Um, and then just use your foundation, whichever one you want. I'm using Cover FX um, Total Cream Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Um, mine's an N35. You can see I'm like completely out almost. So I've probably got maybe less than a week left on this, but that's a good thing because this is my second container and I'm not going to be repurchasing it. See what a difference that makes? It's crazy. Next up is the um, under eyes Garnier. Any kind of concealer you want, I'm just going to use this. Just under the eyes and then while... I kind of let this sit just because I feel like it works a lot better when you let it sit. And but I'm going to mix this um, Josie Marin Argon Illuminizer. Illuminator? Illuminizer. Um, and I just try to get as little as I can, but that's typically what comes out, so whatever. Um, but you'll see I'll just take a dot, and I'm going to go underneath. I'm going to go underneath, and then I'm going to go up my cheekbone, down the bridge of my nose, in between my eyes, and then up on my forehead, and then my entire mouth region. You really want that cupid's bow um and then i try to take it down a little bit here and you'll understand why i do this in a second it's going to help you create because i'm going to really bronze up this side of my face so it will really help you maintain that light and that illumination so i'm going to let that kind of sit for a second under my eyes and then while that's sitting i am going to blend it out elsewhere and I just want to blend all this out because otherwise it'll dry and kind of streak if you try to pull it. Alright. Okay, so there's that. And then I'm just going to take my Make It Forever 5 color concealer. This is what I used to, uh, to contour with. And I'm just going to really carve out my face. A tip for you, if um, if you are going to do this and you do have a party or something to go to, self tan as much as you can for the. Uh, I'm using this middle color. If you're wondering what color this is right now, um, as much as you can if you have the ability to if you have noticed to do this because then you'll look like I can self tan days in a row and look great like my tan looks really dark and deep I did it in Texas I love it now I'm going to the kind of almost like a redder brown and it's really dark brown along my jawline All right, and then I'm gonna take this brown as well and blend these two together. Next 
Next, I'm going to take um, my bronzer. It's the Guerlain Terracotta Bronzer. Mine's in three. And then I'm going to take my MAC 109 bronzer brush. Next, I'm going to take some cream blush. This is also by Josie Marin, and this is the Argon Color Stick in Rosy. I have makeup on my nails. And this is so you have some color without looking super duper. Um, you don't want powder on top of dewy. So. And I just put it right on top of my cheekbones, kind of in between my highlight and my bronzer. Um, if you are rounder in the face like I am, you want to put it on your cheekbones. If you, I really don't think you should put it on the apples of your cheeks because I think it gives you a, an angle. But if you're somebody with a very angular face, then I actually would tell you to put it on it because it will give you some shape and some, some kind of plumpness. And if you have a very strong um, angled face, then it would actually be advantageous for you to create some fullness to your face. Okay, so next I'm going to be taking um, a stippling brush. This is also by MAC, and this one is the 187. And I'm going to be taking, if this is, I actually already pre-made it. It's a Cora's combination of the illuminating powder, and then I also put some Ben Nye um, banana powder in there. And I'm just going to take some of the illuminating powder combo. When I'm going to take some of this combination, you'll see it's right here and it's mainly on this. Um, and I'm just going to press this into the center of my face. I know this looks crazy right now. Believe me, it will look okay. This is so it not only sets your makeup, but it photographs nicely. So you don't look totally shiny. Now, um, you don't have to use this. I use it because I have kind of oilier skin here. Um, and it helps me just kind of press it in, especially under the eyes. I would actually recommend you press it. Now, I'm just going to use this to press in, like under my eyes, and just kind of move it where I need it to be. And then I'm going to take my stippling brush and just remove any excess. And what I like about this combination is it gives you a light to your skin. So it still gives you that nice, pretty illumination. And the banana powder sets it really nicely and also lends a yellower kind of tint, um, which is really great, especially for like this kind of a look, because you don't want a pink look. You want to be more yellow, bronze, brown, oranges, those colors. All right, so that's my skin. In real life, my skin looks a lot darker. My light behind this is really bright. It's also like right there. So, so now the first thing I do is my brows. Just go ahead and fill in your brow as, natural, as you normally do. Now if you need to buff your brows out, I tend to do that a little bit just to soften it. You're welcome to. Next up is eyes. So let's zoom in a little bit. All right, first we're doing the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion you can use whatever you want um, because I have them and because they're creamy I'm gonna be using these Tarte smolder eye sticks. I have this for my highlight and these for my actual like lid work. I'm just gonna take my highlight. This is the smolder eyes in champagne if you are interested. And I'm just gonna mark. What I like about these is they're just so easy to work with. Um, they're kind of along those lines as the, the NYX jumbo eye pencils. 
but I think they're even nicer. They're really smooth and creamy and just wonderful. So I'm just going to draw that in and then I'm going to highlight my brow bone. And then just kind of pull it out a little bit. The other thing I really love about these is that it just, it dries pretty quickly. So once you pull them out, it's just, I love the way they look. I love the way they, they just are so easy to work with. Okay, see how nice that looks? Next up, I'm going to be using this in gold. It's another Tarte Smolder Eyes. And I'm just going to put this all over my lid. You don't have to be super clean about it. You're going to smudge it out. And before it dries too quickly, I'm just going to kind of pull it up past my crease a little bit. This is almost like pulled from a Victoria's Secret swimsuit catalog, this look is. I just want it to be really beautiful and bronzy and creamy and just like catch the light really nicely. Okay. So then next I'm going to be taking this one and this is in Rainforest Black, like a gold dark green. I'm just going to draw. It looks a little crazy right now, don't freak out. I'm going to take the smudgy end on this and just smudge this out. And kind of wing it up a little bit. And next I'm going to be taking this one. This is an ash violet. It's just a really pretty purple shade. I'm going to put it right kind of in between this gold and this um, green. Just in that kind of almost inner wing. I know this looks crazy, but it will. Pr I promise you it will look really good when it's over with. And then I'm just going to take my finger actually on this one and just kind of press it in, pushing kind of into my socket a little bit and less away. Just kind of almost make like a flick motion. And then you're going to see, you'll see I have a couple like unblended parts right here. Just blend this out until it has this really pretty finish to it. I'm going to take my gold and I'm going to kind of go right in between my champagne and my um, rainforest black. And then I'm just going to blend this all out with my finger. If you're more comfortable using a brush, find the smallest. This is a Real Techniques um, accent brush. Looks like that. Just take one of these and then just blend this whole lower lash line together. So it has this really pretty color, but it's very nice and gradient. All right, so next up is some liquid liner. There's a lot of liquid liner. I'm just going to kind of trace my upper lash line because you don't want it to look any, you don't want it to look even remotely harsh. If you're not comfortable using liquid liner, you can absolutely use pencil liner on this and smudge it out, and that would also look really nice. Um, it would give a really different um, kind of smoky effect. You could also use like a dark brown, almost like espresso colored, and buff that out as well. The only thing is I would just keep it really tight to your... Um, actual lash line because you don't want it to conflict with all the co other colors going on. So then next up is mascara and then if you want to wear false lashes you are welcome to. Now you're welcome to put mascara on your lower lashes. I actually think it's a really pretty idea because what it does is it fans out over this lower lash line work and it just makes it look really nice and full and draws your eye down there. Okay and then next up is falsies if you want. The Ardell 120s. I'm just gonna kind of do like a warm neutral lip. I'm gonna start with the Chanel uh, lip liner in natural. And then I'm gonna put on the um, Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain. This is in honey, and it doesn't look like anything like this color. I was misled. Alright, and then next up is 
just a gloss. I'm going to use kind of an orange tone gloss. This is the Josie Marin uh, and Confession. It's just a little one that I've had for a while and I love her glosses. This will impart like a really nice kind of um, sunset-esque shade to your mouth. If you want to add some extra like warmth to your face, just take some of your bronzer and brush it back over your like your, the planes of your face across the bridge of your nose, your forehead, your chin, down your neck, just to give that really nice warmth um, and make you look like get a tan. And then if you feel the need to put more uh, anything on your eyes, obviously do so. It's completely adjustable, whatever you want to do. So this is what I came up with. Um, I like it because it's not too heavy on the eyes while still providing some drama and focal points on the face. Um, and also making the skin look very tan without being orange. Um, so again, if you want to tweak things, you're obviously welcome to. It's just makeup. There are no rules. But anyway, I hope you guys like the tutorial and I will talk to you later.